Daggett County is the only county in Utah to share a border with both Colorado and Wyoming. Home to about a thousand full-time residents, this beautiful corner of the state can see more than 40,000 visitors at any given time. But if you think that means it gets crowded, guess again. There's a lot of room to spread out and, and be by yourself. Um, so it's a, it's a great feeling, great place to, to connect with family and friends and, and to enjoy yourselves and have a good time. The lake is a big draw, of course, the National Recreation Area. Uh, the Flaming Gorge is about 90 miles long, and I believe about 30 miles of it, and probably some of the best 30, I'd say, are in Utah. So we get a lot of people coming to, uh, to hunt and fish, come on to the forest, on, onto the Ash Ashley National Forest. Uh, lots of places to bring ATVs and ride, and uh, bring your horses and, and boats, and there's just a, a whole bunch of different opportunities to recreate and have a good time here. Situated halfway between Denver and Yellowstone, the town of Manila, Utah is just minutes away from the Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area. The breathtaking scenery makes it a destination in and of itself. The conveniences it offers and the unique lodging opportunities make it a popular destination all year round. between playing on the lake, whether it's by boat or, or just hanging out on one of the beaches, or being on the river, the fishing and hunting up here, uh, the ATV riding, and then we get the diversity of all four seasons, plus you can go from the desert all the way up to, to above tree line. You get, you get to see everything. During the fall, the leaves are changing color, but so are the fish. The kokanee salmon take on a red hue as they swim upstream during their spawning season. Whether they're managed at the state or federal level, public lands are integral to giving everyone easy access to outdoor adventures. But responsibility for those lands just doesn't belong to government agencies. It falls to all of us. I think we need to take responsibility and we all need to have a little bit of environmentalists into us, a little bit of conservative into us, a bit of taking responsibility for ourselves, to pick up after ourselves, to respect others as we are out here recreating and having fun. We need to manage these forests for why they're here. We've worked with the National Forest Service, the National Recreation Area, pretty collaboratively, but we're very, very alert to anything that they would do that would hinder people's ability to get to these different resources that we have up here. We just want to have healthy forests, which in the long run means we want to have a healthy watershed. And so having a healthy watershed to replenish that water supply is important. And, and it means maybe being a little outside the box on some stuff. And so with all of the taxing of the resources, we need to be good hosts to those people that are coming. They come here for the enjoyment coming here to experience what we have and what is in our own backyard. So come, enjoy, and take those memories back with you. I'm Terry Wood in Northeastern Utah for this week's Where To.